Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a morph. Now, I'm sorry if you guys hear background noises, because I'm apparently at my cousin's house. So, and I'm also using a new recorder, so let's get to it. So first, you want to make a, a part, or you want to insert a part, and just do whatever you want with it. So this is going to be the pad, so when you step in it, you'll morph into the character. So I'm going to make mine red, and then make it neon, so it glows. So just like this, guys. And then once you guys want to do that, make sure it's anchored so it won't, like, fly everywhere. So it just stands in that one spot. And then once you do that, you want to right-click on it. And then you want to group it, and then it, this should pop up. And then once this pops up, you want to right-click on it again, and then you can rename it. And you can re rename it to Morph. Just like that. And then once you have done that, you want to go find your NPC. Now make sure it's R15. So let's just search up r15 so let's just use this um noob as an example so you want to place it wherever you want but i feel like this should be the necessary spot and then you want to drag it into the morph so then it will be like this so it just be in oh sorry so then it'll just be inside of this um model so then it'll be like that okay and then what you want to do is you want to make sure inside of the character um, make sure nothing is anchored. So make sure it's not checked. So this one is good. If it's not checked, then that is good. Um, so if you guys are wondering how I did that, um, you want to go behind the plus sign, and then you hold left click and just drag it, and then you do that. So now once you do that, uh, once it's nothing's anchored, you want to close it, and then you want to go to the part, insert a script, delete everything, and then just copy and paste the script, which is, will be in the link down below. And then on line two, it says local character name equals. And then it's going to say um, insert character model name here. So what you guys want to do for this part, whatever the model you used for the morph, whatever, like you see how mine says NPC template. I have to type NCP template right here, but I have to use like right there so let me show you an example so it says npc template then i have to type in npc template like that and then but like for example if my character just said chicken then i'll just have to type in chicken and then it would work so apparently for me mine is called so npc template exactly how it was typed and then you should all be good so then you just close out everything and then you can test out the game And then once you're in the game, make sure your game is R15. So then you want to go and then just click on it. And there's a morph. Now, some of the models have animations. Um, if yours is just sliding, for example, like this one has an animation. So that's why it's like moving everything. But if you guys want animation for your characters, like, for example, um, I'll just say this didn't have an animation. So um, you guys could go, let's just pretend this had an animation. You could just put this in there, but like made it look like a noob. So that's what um, would work too. But and that's how you make a morph. It's honestly really simple. Um, if you guys helped you, if this helped you guys, then make sure to smash the like button and let me know in the comments that it helped you. And can't wait to see your guys' opinion on it. So that is all. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.